So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and just create some UVs for it real quick. I'll hold the shift key to create a nice loop. And that's really all I want to do here. So I'll hide the eyes, um, the teeth. I'll do the UVs on these as well. So what I'll do with mark seams. I'm going to reduce my brush size with the bracket keys. Hold the shift key. And I'll just do that with each one. And the good thing is I can see a highlight so I can click this from a distance. I don't have to zoom in on each uh, individual model. I want to turn symmetry off because some of these are not perfectly symmetrical. I don't want extra uh, seams here. So. Okay. And I'll do the same thing for the bottom side. I'll reduce my brush size down quite a bit. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is show the UV path, and this is a really good option whenever you're using auto retopology because sometimes the result of the auto retopology algorithm doesn't give you perfect uh, loops across your model. Sometimes it'll end in an end gone or just um, you know just in a non-contiguous loop. It'll terminate somewhere. And it's just it's not perfect it's close but not always perfect and so that makes it a little more difficult to choose your UV seams uh, with mark seams or edge loops so with the UV path it's really really flexible if you've ever used the point-to-point -point seam selection in 3ds max it's very similar but even more flexible than that so let's go ahead and take a look at it uh, what I'm gonna do is with the UV path selected I'll just click my first point and I can click anywhere along this uh, section here. Instead of having to try and guess where the last point is, I can just click anywhere along this loop and just continue to hold the cursor or mouse down and just drag. And I'll see a preview okay, of the seam. And once I have it the way I like it, I can just hit the Enter key. And I typically, when I'm moving on to another object like this, I'll typically will just hit the escape key uh, to clear all the points and just start a new one. But I don't, I don't think you have to. Uh, so let's do the same thing here. I can do this at a distance and just follow all the way down. Okay, looks good. Enter key. Same thing here. Enter key. I 
I could use auto seams, but in this case, these tools uh, make seam selection so fast that really an extra few minutes, five minutes, is not that big of a, a cost. So I'll click my first point. I don't have to hold the shift key or anything. While I'm dragging, I just hold the cursor down. And then when I get to my last point, let up. Enter. Same thing here. Oops, I'm sorry. Let me click my first point. My next one. Hit the enter key. I can create another point and drag it. And let's say later on I want to change this so I can just drag it until I see a preview of the seam that I want. And create an intermediate point. Click and then drag and do the same thing there. So it's really, really flexible in that regard. Hit the enter key. And turn the opacity down so I can see the seam. Yeah, it doesn't seam selection just doesn't get any easier than that. Okay. Let's go to the top teeth and get that knocked out real quick. Enter key. Yeah, you can do it from a long distance. That's one of the really nice things about this particular tool. Oops. Got to click my first point and the next point and drag. Okay, that's it. So we got the eyes done and the tongue as well. And so when these were created, I had the head UV map uh, visible. So when I click unwrap, it's going to try and place it here on this map. But that may not be what I want. I've already created a UV map. You can add new UV maps here, add new UV set, and then you can name it accordingly. Uh, in this case, I have one for the teeth and the tongue. So I'll click on that. And you'll notice these are no longer colored, and that tells me that they are kind of temporarily placed in the head UV map. So what I can do is click this Select All Faces on Layer for the teeth. Go over here to the UV subsection, just click on any one of these seam selection tools to open up the UV tools. And then I can go over here to the second drop list and move the selected faces to the teeth and tongue UV map. And you can see now they're colorized. Okay, I haven't unwrapped yet, but it's telling me that it's going to be assigned to this map. Same thing with the eyes. Select the layer, select the icon here for select all faces on layer. Okay, in the same thing. Teeth and tongue. So we're good to go. Now the only thing we have to do at this point is go ahead and unwrap. The tongue is already unwrapped here. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer. I'm going to add eyes to it. Underscore eyes okay so again the only thing I have to do is just click unwrap and there you go so when we zoom in you can see the checker pattern looks very uniform 
on the eyes. On the teeth and everything, so we're good to go. Okay, so we have geometry and UVs for all of our meshes, all of our objects in the scene now. What I'm going to do in the next video is go into a little bit more advanced demonstration of using the auto retopology tool set on something organic like this, and as well as something hard edge or hard surface. Okay, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.